major problem and uh, uh, in some parts of the, the state uh, it's been so bad that 90% of the trees uh, on the western slope in some areas are already dead and there's nothing you can do about that. When I first went out to the Cheeseman Reservoir area after the Hayman fire, it was like a moonscape. And there weren't any birds, no wildlife, no vegetation. It was a real eerie feeling. And that really hit home. I'll never forget that. I would certainly classify the mountain pine beetle activity in Colorado and through many parts of the western United States as being an epidemic, which is to say that the population of mountain pine beetle is well above normal and causing more than normal mortality in its host. We're also going to see changes in the way our landscape behaves in terms of fire, uh, water resources, lots of infrastructure questions. Like in the case of uh, uh, our forests, if you have forests that's, uh, that are uh, not healthy and uh, uh, they burn up or anything like that, uh, you're affecting watersheds. Well, affecting watersheds affects drinking water and it affects people that are way, way out of the forest. So uh, what you do in your forest can affect uh, hundreds of miles from, from where you are. So that's snow melt and precipitation. The water comes off of the surface of the ground, goes into tributaries, goes into the main river systems goes down to our reservoirs, and then we pipe it over to our treatment plants. And then from there, we have a distribution system that goes to each home in the metropolitan area, and we turn the water on, and it works. If we have a fire, a catastrophic fire, and all the vegetation on the surface burns, then it's not so much the fire that's the problem, it's the aftermath, it's the rain events. When you have a catastrophic fire, it changes the soil chemistry. When you have hydrophobic soils, the water can't penetrate into the ground. So that it uh, beads up and it goes down during a small rain event and causes debris flows. And then that ends up in our reservoirs and the water quality is poor. Throughout the West, it's been some very busy years for mountain pine beetle. We are seeing a lot of change in our forest brought about by mortality in pines induced by mountain pine beetle. People who study hydrology and study soils, they're concerned because trees do play an important role in soil uh, stabilizing. What I'm most hopeful of for Colorado and much of the West is that we really learn from this current outbreak and we begin to understand the role of forest management and appreciate that the choices that we make today will determine what our future forests look like. I mean, if you get out and hike in the forest uh, with the lodgepole problem uh, that we have now, now they're starting to fall over. If they fall on power lines, they can cut off your power into town for days or, or longer. Uh, we talked about the watershed issue, they can affect your drinking water. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, poor forest health can affect for people in town. If you own forested property, this is certainly one of those causes that you should be involved in.